All right, you guys, I think it's official. The Vlandians really don't like us. The king has come chasing after me. <laughs> um, yeah. We were just sieging a place, so we're moving kind of slow. Um, hold on. Can I get to the city? Yeah, I can. Right. Okay, cool. Yeah, we're, we're fine. Yeah, so basically, Dirt Heart is here, and he's chasing me. He's, he's literally just hanging outside the city, waiting for me. Um, I think one of your lords just went that a ways. I could maybe try and chase him down. I might... Yeah, I might... Oh, what? What is that? They've got 2,000 units. How do they have 2,000 units? And who are they at war with? Because they aren't attacking me with that, are they? I think they're attacking me with that. I'm flattered? <laughs> I'm just curious. Um, patrolling around Melaclovia. Yeah, so that was the place that I had been sieging. So they've got like a mega army up there. Um, that is gonna really drain resources for them. So that's kind of awesome. Yeah, I, I basically have just been um, sieging places and then when they get close, uh, running away. I usually don't even get the siege camp up, you know? Um, over troop limit, hold on. What's it that it's asking me to do? Okay, we'll upgrade that dude, but we won't recruit the prisoners because I think we're already at our limit, huh? Yeah, so we got 170 people. So we got to our limit, which is kind of cool. Um, I would like to attack Dirtheart, but I think he's got um, way too many people. Like, trying to attack 233 is not going to go well for us. I might... Yeah, I think that we could sneak away from him, though. Yeah, because if we go out on the map here... Yeah, I can get away from you. I'll be able to get going fast enough, and I'll, I'll find another lord of yours somewhere around here. I can honestly, like, attack this village. <laughs> and take recruits. I just don't want to get slowed down, though, to be honest. Um, so we'll just kind of keep on the move. Yeah, I think that, uh, we've really thrown them off. Um, because now they're sending their king and death stacks of like a hundred something people at us. I think I, uh, that's a pretty, pretty big stack for us. How are you doing troop composition? You got 40 something recruits. I don't think I have that many recruits anymore. Do I have any recruits? I got some thugs. I mean, my troop composition is def definitely much better than yours. I might go for it. Um, no, we're not gonna do it with Dirt Heart right there. That's that's bad bad news waiting to happen. We don't want to be overly ambitious. Now we've got you chasing us though, so we don't want to get cornered. If there's another like Landian Lord that comes from the other direction, we could be in trouble. So we'll just kind of slow it down. Just, uh, yeah, Liana, if you had seen me there and cut me off there, that would have been bad. Chasson, oh look, there's the castle, the famous castle. Oh, actually it looks like that Lord may be not chasing me, I don't know. 137 is is tempting to try and attack, but I think Dirt Heart is really determined, man. He really does not like me. Well, we'll just we'll just make sure that we don't let him catch up to me then. Two-handed to 91. Who are you fighting? I think you know my companions. I was looking at it. Um, it's so annoying how you can't get them to join up with you, but you can kind of see where they're at at least. And they're like at Asgar, so they're like in the Sari lands, just I think killing looters. They're not even here like attacking the Vlandians, which is frustrating, you know? Um, wow, Dirt Heart is really determined to catch me. Um,. Increased, yeah, so we're getting random relationship bonuses. That's really random that this castle is up here. There's Turby Castle. <laughs> hmm. 
I don't know why Turby is so funny to me, but it's it's a good name. Let's make our way back towards Legata. Yeah, if I'm getting chased by this dude, I might as well go back to a place that is somewhat friendly to me. You know? I might... Yeah, I was just saying I might attack a lord if it if it is a um, amicable situation where it looks like I could probably take them out without other lords nearby. Um, I don't think... Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any lords in there. I think we could maybe attack you and then get away from Dirt Heart. I think we could probably wipe out a group of 100 pretty effectively to the point where we're not slowed down that much especially if we bloat right before by recruiting those prisoners i don't know if i does that make sense i don't know if you know what i mean by bloat but if we like recruit all the prisoners the second before we uh, actually talk to this person which is like literally about to happen we should get a nice boost in terms of the number of troops that are on the battlefield This is, you know, actually kind of made it fun for me because I feel like the underdog again. I was thinking about that, like, with the sorry, we were just, like, steamrolling people so hard. Like, honestly, we were getting to the point where, like, I was kind of like, I don't even have to play the game. The AI is going to win the game for me at this point, you know? Like, we've generated so many good lords uh, to the sorry side. Luckily though for us is our our charm should help us get other people to join our kingdom once I get a castle. It's all about getting that first castle. Which is gonna be kinda hard now that the, the kingdoms are big. But I'm up for a challenge. And if we need to, we can always join back up with the, another kingdom. And then that we could use that kingdom to weaken down someone. I don't know. Are they really doing a circle? They're really doing- oh wow, that was- ow. What hit me? I don't know what hit me there, but it hurt. Whatever it was. Yeah. I think that's the archers- the archers are looking at me a little, uh, a little intensely there for me. <clears throat> Gotta have to back off. Seeing how we're like pretty much dead, you know? Yeah, we'll pull back to basically where their infantry is going to get crushed by us. I think that we really do have a good troop composition now in the army. Especially compared to, like, this army. Yeah, like, they're getting crushed so quick. Like, sure, they have 100, but we have nearly twice that. Did they actually... I wonder how many of them killed uh, some of my people. Oh, they're uh, they're taking aim at me. There. <laughs> oh, that guy almost got me. Yeah, actually, I don't I don't like the look of me standing still right now. Not with all those guys targeting me. Okay, they're all dead. They're gonna die. <laughs> they're they're charging. Why are you charging? It's like the dumbest thing ever. Your friend literally just got domed from like pretty far away. That, that's one of mine, right? <clears throat> Come on. That's two horsies. Man, it was, when I was uh, when I was originally playing this, I was just graduating from like high school when I first played um, uh, Warband, or like I think it was actually Mountain Blade before Warband. And, like, there was a friend of mine who, she was super into horses, and whenever I killed a horse in this game, I thought of her, and I was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> they would not be happy knowing that <laughs> this is simulated in this game so well. Uh, yeah, I gotta get my relationship up, up with people. Um, that's what we're doing. You know, relationship through attacking. And only sieging... Uh, I mean, I don't want to siege just like every castle, because that really hurts your relationship with people. 
Man, that was crazy seeing that stack of 2,000. When I've only got like an army strength of like less than 200. Oh, I'm over my troop limit? Uh-oh. How, how over my troop limit am I? Six people over. All right, well, let's get rid of these recruits then. And these thugs and one of these recruits. I think that that should be good, right? Cool. I mean, if I'm replacing recruits with actually good units, that's that's a pretty good deal, right? Uh, Legata, we were making our way towards Legata, right? Nope, no, we were not. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, can I get going faster, please? Oh man, he's he's he won't catch us. He's way too slow. Dirt heart, you, dirt heart, you're an old man. Can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, honestly, we don't have to worry too much about the uh, Vlandian king chasing after us right now. He's just too slow. So I want to kind of make my way that ways. Through the through the forest? Sure. We'll go through the forest. Uh three hundred there. Yeah, there's there's very little chance of me getting a castle with like low defenses in the middle of their kingdom because it hasn't been sieged recently. So I'm not even gonna check that stuff. Though uh attacking a village, that could could honestly just uh keep me entertained. <laughs> Um, a hundred though. A hundred troops is... That makes me a little nervous. 130 makes me even more nervous. Dude, they have a militia of 130 people. That's crazy. Like, seriously. Like, th there's a lot of places that have, like, no militia. You know? Um, oh, look at this. I was, I was thinking of attacking a village and then you just decided to show up for me. Perfect. And then I can maybe attack a village after this. We'll see. And then I'll I'll get a ton of recruits like Legata and um Ostia or whatever. They really like me over there. They'll give me tons of units. It'll be good. It'll be good times. Yeah, I think, you know I don't know how much this makes for good uh let's play this game but this is like my dream game honestly because it's repetitive but it has it in a different enough setting where it, it it doesn't seem that repetitive to me and then there's like interesting tactical choices that you got to make on the fly in the uh, big area which affects these battles you know i really like that i like games that allow you to have um a good tactical advantage like i'm all for games that uh try and stay balanced but like, there's a difference between balance and rewarding, um, well executed and well planned out things, you know. I mean, chess and whatnot. That's it has its own uh, own value because you know it really shows who is better at the task of whatever it is. But. This, this game is all about a simulated world, and there's no single skill ever involved in any task, you know? You guys just gonna stand there while I shoot arrows at your backs? Okay, totally. Okay, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Throw those at me. Don't let me just shoot ya. I'll, I'll get a few more hits in if you'll honestly let me. Really? Okay. Well, they're gonna be really weak when they uh, when they do hit my line. A lot of them are gonna go down like one hit pretty pretty quickly. <laughs> yeah. I love it when they go for the throw animation and you hit them with an arrow. It's the best. Okay, that dude's gonna go down. There's so many of them here. Kind of crazy, honestly. Oh man, I, I don't think I hit anyone there. Yeah, we'll just get a few more kills in, you know. 
see what we can do. Oh man, that was so brutal. I just killed like four dudes. This is honestly kind of messed up. <laughs> But, it's so fun. It's like my cat when she plays with her food. You know? <laughs> okay, that's the last of them. I'm gonna just end it. Sure, you're free to go, Morcan. Wow, you guys really didn't like me there. keep on getting like um recruits and i'm actually not as sure how the equilibrium is going with the number of recruits that we have but i feel like i've grown to a pretty big number um just by doing this whole raiding and and whatnot you know the nice thing about doing this is that you do get by not attacking uh the um the castles you do get better troops like but when you attack castles you end up losing so many troops it's hard to maintain like a strong army but if you don't attack those castles and you just have like a field army that's just like running around attacking these lords you can like essentially sustain yourself forever um you know and i am tempted to attack one of these villages just to help get a little bit of more experience for people and um I mean, I don't need more recruits. I've already got pretty much my max. Yeah, we're not gonna attack the village. We'll go. S it's no no point in really like making the uh, the peasants mad at you. You know. Wow, there's a lot of lords there. That's kind of weird. Like all at Viron. Okay, some lord. Yeah, I like how that happens. Like lords are just happy with me. Uh, you need help with forest bandits. There's a forest bandit base over there and you want me to kill all these little parties. It's not really worth my time, honestly. And the parties are too small for me to even really catch, so... Sorry. Oh, man. Uh, nope. So I need to... Recruit... Do you have anything that are not... Okay, they're literally just all recruits. Uh... Okay. Well, don't want that if I can get something else then. I can only... yeah, that's a shame. I should have gotten more of them. I'm not gonna micro it though. It's not worth... not worth the time. Uh, so we should be at our, our max then. What's this? That is... That, these castles over here seem really far out there for the um, Blandians. So I'm hoping that when they eventually do go to war with someone, they still are not at war with anyone. Um, that we'll be able to take like this. Or I, I think Rasos I had been looking at and I might have even sieged it down. I can't remember. I think I'm going to just go check it out just to see what's around there. There might be a lord wandering around. Someone for me to go pick on. You know what, I'm gonna attack this village. It's uh it's honestly not for even for the recruits or anything, it's uh just to get some experience. Um But I'm gonna let my troops get in there and maybe people will die. Then we'll should should be able to get Take over command! Yeah, get in there. Oh man, we're already getting hit by the archers. Okay, perfect. Some people are gonna die. I kinda want uh at least like five or six people to actually get killed and that should happen without us having to do anything special oh that dude actually i think might be aiming at me yeah there's some dudes aiming at me hello i'm just uh riding on through don't mind me don't mind me at all okay you might want to mind me <laughs> oh, that was the wrong side. Yeah. 
go. <laughs> oh man. Look at that guy. That dude looked pale. That guy looked like one of my like Norwegian friends growing up. It's crazy when you like first see that for like the first time. Like someone like truly with like crazy pale skin, you know? It's I, I suppose that's true for any human trait when you see something that's like completely outside your norm. I had this friend, um, she was like Chinese and she grew up in China and um, said the first time she met like a white person, all the kids in her school thought like they were diseased, like there was something terribly wrong with them, you know? Oh, look at that. Oh, sweet. We got some uh, actual decent units there. Cool. I'll take those. Um, I think we have to return a few though. Uh, I think, how many do I need to get rid of? Two more. Okay, let's get rid of two more. Um, do I have any other level ones? It doesn't look like I do. Oh wow, that's that's crazy, huh? Okay. Um, well then, we'll get rid of some of our level twos then. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Like I said, that was more for the fight than than what we got from it. And then let's go over here. We'll see if our our mean deeds have uh, gotten anyone's attention. Epicrotia. I'm just curious as to who you can recruit right here, right now. No, nothing. Uh, what about, let's let's go out to Rezos and just check this out. I'm pretty sure I had sieged this down, so they were kind of hurting. But I can't remember. Uh, hold on, nope. Wrong thing. Just level them up. I keep on forgetting. I keep on being used to, like, you know, have, having so many uh, people in our party that that just kind of goes indefinitely. Yeah, uh, that, see, like, this place only has 20 defenders. That's crazy. That's, like, nothing. Okay, this place actually has 330. So, yeah, we're not attacking that anytime soon. Um... I mean, not successfully. And the problem is that I'm concerned they would sally out if I started to siege them as well. Like, I, I could siege places. I could even raid villages. I think if I want to egg someone on, I probably should raid. Um, there, I don't think I need to egg anyone on though, because there's someone right there for me to fight. Perfect. I was just looking for you. Maybe we can get a little bit further from the village. Yeah, this is that's a pretty nice um, distance, actually. Actually, hold on, just give me a second. It looked to me like I could, um, yeah, maybe get some prisoners to join. Maybe some of your ex-soldiers. I don't know. Have I, have I beat, I don't think I've beat this lord before in, um, our little unofficial war here, but I think we might have. Yeah, so an Ur die, my friend. It's, a. Uh, it's probably gonna go in our favor here. By probably, I mean it definitely is, because we actually Sergeant, have... Take ya! Sorry, just take ya. <laughs> that will never get old. <laughs> oh man, it will never get old for me, at least. Yeah, I think we just kind of... I'm honestly just killing time until the um, Vlandians uh, get into a major war. Or I, maybe I should check to see if the Sari are at war with anyone else. Because if the Sari are at war with someone, they're probably gonna steamroll. So I should probably check that again soon. Oh, that actually could have been really bad. I was totally unprepared for that. <laughs> okay, well... Someone got me there. I think that, yeah, there's a number of them chasing down my boy over here. Man, there's a ton of them. I just can't hit any of them. Man, that guy's uh, voice was a little off there. <laughs> oh man, no, that was, that was bad. It's okay. Oh no. 
There's... Oh, no, never mind. Okay, there's a lot of red there I just saw all of a sudden. Aw. I thought I was gonna get that dude. There we go. Nice. It is weird, like, the Norman faction, how they really seem out of place to me. But then again, the Kiwi and Roos are kind of like in a different time period as well than, uh, and like the Roman um, Empire and like I think this is supposed to be like yeah like the downfall of the Roman Empire of this world kind of thing like you know essentially like was that like 400 500 uh, 80 wait that was only 11 damage I like hit him like in the head what 10 damage also in the head there 31 damage in the head. Did that guy just have like a really strong head or was I just... I think I was hitting pretty weakly, but... I don't know, man. Okay, one last one. There. <laughs> oh, so fun. Okay, I... Yeah, I don't have any more arrows, so I don't want to be charging at a lance. Yeah, that's a dumb... Dumb idea. But if I could turn him into someone else, sure. Or distract him. How am I faster than you, dude? I've got, like, no riding skill. That guy almost took me out, honestly. <laughs> I wasn't really paying very much attention in those last few seconds. I, I've refined my cruelty. What was that? I, I didn't catch that. Um, sure, let's take all these guys. Yeah, we haven't had any real messages besides, I think, actually, we did have one recent about being over our prisoner limit. Yeah, we're getting a little close, actually. Um, yeah, I think that that's pretty much everyone. Sounds good to me. Yeah, I don't know. Spears have always in this game not worked properly. I've um, just kind of stayed away from them out of fear. I, mean, I would love to do a Phalanx. Like, I loved... Oh, look, we have a proper Fian champion. Um, sorry, I was saying, um, like, the Total War games. Like, setting up a good Phalanx in a choke point in that game. Oh, it's so fun. Like... Honestly, I've defended some cities with like just like two units of phalanx against like four or five other units. And if you just get like a good choke point, like a really good choke point. Oh man, it's amazing. It's so fun. Okay, I'll go pick up these recruits that are all hanging out, right? Was it here or was that? No, I think it was Legata where there was a ton of them. Well, actually, we're already at 170, so shouldn't complain too much. Um, I, mean, I kind of want to, I know that sieging down is not really an option. Uh, kingdoms, oh, sorry, I was, I said that I was going to check. Southern Empire, yeah, see, the Southern Empire is crushed. They don't even have any land, so, yeah, I, I can't get in on that. Yeah, I think that, um, a Galmon, isn't that the same as that, that dude's name? Is that place named the same as that lord? Actually, just really quick, um, I need supplies. I just realized we haven't bought food in uh, uh, quite a while. I mean, it looks like we haven't ate that much of it, to be honest, but... Oh, what's that? Was that? No, that was just looters. Mazdan. Nothing really here. Okay. I think that uh, the lords are probably really sick of me, you know? <laughs> um, running around Vlandia. I mean, they're like, man, we're not even at war with the Saris. And I, <laughs> like, I want to think that like Unquid and I like had some sort of like secret agreement where I was going to do like this cohort war against this uh, 
group of people here. Um, yeah, I know that this we're gonna get counter-attacked, and we're not really gonna be able to siege this place. But I'm kind of done looking for people. Kind of want them to come to me. Maybe, maybe I'll take it though. Maybe they'll get into a war while we're doing this, and they won't attack me. And they do have like 2,000 units like stashed away somewhere, so... Yeah. Yeah, see, like, that already. Um, I'll, I'll attack that. I'll gladly attack 119. With my stack? Yes, please. Um, oh, that actually, um... That makes me a little nervous seeing those guys chasing us, but I think that we can handle this and then that as well. I don't think that this, this stack will be that hard to take out. Um, yeah, we'll go a little long on this one. I need to be Follow your sergeants. effective here, though, because the other dude could have nearly one-to-one -one against us, and that could be dangerous. So the question is, what do I want to do? We don't really have too many horse archers. Yeah, because we haven't been at war with the Kuzates. I haven't been able to capture horse archers, really, which is a shame because those are very effective. Yeah, it seems that our army composition is distinctly lacking in cavalry right now. Actually, if you look at it, it's distinctly lacking in cavalry quite a, by quite a large amount. Um, I'll gladly take their cav up here. And then we'll see about, uh, yeah, that dude I think is, one of them's got, like, spears that they want to lob at me. Yeah, that dude. Yeah, you, you buddy, you do scare me. But, yeah, okay, you're gonna go away? Fine by me. Um, I think, yeah, we're, we're crushing them. I would like to interfere with their archers, though. Oh man, never mind. Uh, archers, I'm done interfering, you're good. At least I took their aim off of people for a second, right? It's like, oh no! Oh, 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 I might die here. I don't think there's an awful lot I can do. Yeah, there wasn't really much I could do there. Oh, that is a shame, because now my troops are going to do, like, dumb stuff. Please don't do anything too stupid. And it looks like they're fine. And we didn't lose that many people, so I think that we'll be able to take out the other group. But I would like to be able to fight myself. So hopefully we can get away. Because they, you know, the send troops, that, that would just destroy me, I think. That would just have a, a way too many of our people get killed. You guys should just like all rush in. Why are why are you like not just crushing them? And why is there so many reds still? It says 27. Really? If where are there 27 troops? It's kind of weird. It's saying that there's 27 of them still on the map. I don't see how that's possible. Yeah, that's kind of cool, though, that view right there. Yeah, how is there 23 of them still on the map? They must all be, like, running away. Well, this dude's about to get taken out. That must be the Lord, right? Oh, look, he's got, like, a little uh, cool shield. It's like the shield that we uh, started the game with. Okay, uh, right, does that mean that it's done? That they're retreating? I'm just gonna speed it up. Yeah, there we go. So we lost 40-ish people of our fighting force. Why are we... there we go. Uh, you're free to go. Yeah, you're welcome, whatever. I kind of don't want to take the prisoners because they'll slow me down and I think we need to be fast to get away from this dude so that I can actually, you know, fight them myself, not have the AI just mess it all up. 
Let's level up just real quick. I was hoping to just do like one, two with these quicks and quick little fights and uh, have you join up with us for the rest of it, but it doesn't look like it's gonna go that way. Okay, um, man, we have a lot of level ups though. At least that happened for us. And I will take any prisoners that want to join me. Uh, over our prisoner limit. Oh man, we're quite a bit over our prisoner limit too. Get rid of some of these uh, twos then. Yeah. That's a shame. We lost so many people that we had to let some prisoners go. <clears throat> yeah, see now we're at uh, 111 against 125. Numbers are not great in our favor there. And in addition to that, I wouldn't be fighting myself. So uh, that's not happening there at Civil and... But uh, yeah. Things are, you know, they're going. Getting going. I think I need to start investing more in cavalry, like, whenever it lets me. Um, but I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.